So one of the things that I've been working on is to try to develop an intratumoral approach whereby you can deliver uh, potent immunologic modulators into the tumor microenvironment while avoiding the systemic uh, exposure and, and toxicity from these agents. So uh, one of the platforms that we've been working on was developed in the laboratory at MIT uh, by Dane Wittrup and, and his colleague Daryl Irvine. And this is using aluminum hydroxide as a scaffolding um, that you can then attach um, potential immune potentiating agents. So the first agent that we've looked at is interleukin-12. Uh, we selected that because it is an agent that is known to have anti-tumor activity both in mouse models and actually in clinical trials. But the development was really halted because of uh, sig pretty significant systemic toxicity, including some deaths in early studies of recombinant IL-12 treatment. Um, what our initial studies are showing is that we can uh, have a functional IL-12 present in the tumor microenvironment for up to about a two-week to two week period with really minimal leakage into the systemic circulation. And this has been associated with very potent anti-tumor responses in the mice, and these appear to be immune-mediated and dependent on CD8 T cells uh, at, at the site. Um, so we're quite excited about translating this into patients and potentially using this platform to deliver other agents where we need to improve the therapeutic window to get the benefit.